Hello everyone, my name's Casey, and I'm going to load up this family super quick. But today I'm really excited to share with you my first ever Sims 4 Let's Play. This is the Taylor Family Let's Play, or Taylor Family Legacy. And today I'll be introducing you to the family and telling you their little backstory, and sort of just maybe starting some gameplay and just so you can get to know the Sims and sort of see how they are. So I'll introduce you to the family when I get in, but first I want to apologize. I, I, probably will because I'm not quite sure how to fix it it's either it makes that popping sound and my voice fades in and out and it makes the popping sound less but you can't hear my voice for half the time or it makes the popping sound a little bit more and it doesn't fade so I'm using the headphone or the microphone on my headphones because they have a better audio because it doesn't um, other than the popping sound it's a lot clearer and there's not as much background noise because of the humming in the background so I do have a microphone, and it has that humming in the background when I try and use it, so I'm not quite sure how to, if I'm setting it up properly or anything like that. So if you have any tips, please let me know down in the comments, because I really want to try and make these videos really good for you guys, so they're more enjoyable to watch. So this is the family. Oh, well, this is the apartment. It's a very, very small. You can see there's no really living space. There's sort of, well, there's two bathrooms and three bedrooms, and there's five Sims living here. So, first we'll start by introducing the Sims. This is Alec Taylor. He is the father. He's got some issues. He is noncommittal, he is hot-headed, lazy, and alluring, because he wants to be a serial romantic. He's special, I guess you could say. Uh, he is married to his wife, Aubrey. A little bit leggy right now, sorry. But this is Aubrey. She is right now in her pajamas. Um, and her eyes are closed. But this is Aubrey. She is, she is the mother of these three beautiful children. And she is married to Alec. So she is a stay-at-home mom, though. But she is a genius, ambitious, and family-oriented. She and her and Alec were high school sweethearts. But they found out that Aubrey was pregnant with little Nolan here, their oldest child, their only son right now. Uh, Nolan, he, I don't know why he has red hair, it just sort of ended up that way because neither of his parents have red hair, but I guess maybe one of their parents might have. But Aubrey is, as you can see, very young and I believe actually, wait, what? In one day? Oh, wait, hold up. That's so weird. They still age up one. No, no, no. Okay, that's not right. That is not right. But, um, she is, uh, she was very, her and Alec were both very young when they had Nolan. That's why they live in this very small apartment, because they didn't really have their life set up then. So they didn't have the money, really, to get their life together, in a, I guess you could say. But they did manage to get this little apartment. Aubrey doesn't work, because she stays home with the kids. Alec, however, is a criminal, but Aubrey doesn't really know that. She just knows that he makes money, and he doesn't really like being asked about this, obviously, because he's a criminal. But they're not doing very badly right now for money-wise. But, yeah, so they're a very young couple. Of course, they've had their little arguments. And because she also, she would have wanted to have a career, but because of Nolan, and then they decided to have a family so young, she never actually ended up having a career, and she's just a stay-at-home mom. Which, I mean, she loves, but she could have want she sort of wanted more. So, yeah, that was, this is Nolan. Um, this is his bedroom. Very simple, I guess. He's just a child. He has toys and stuff. Oh, and this is Aubrey and Alex's room. So, Nolan is a good sim. He's also a whiz kid, so he's kind of smart. Very nice. He loves his siblings, which is very sweet. Um, yeah, that's, there's not really much about Nolan. Then we have the two twins, Michaela, or Michaela, and Mackenzie. Oh my gosh, where's Mackenzie? Oh dear, she is outside. Okay, you need to come back up right now. Okay, so Michaela and Mackenzie are identical twins, except uh, Mackenzie has gray eyes. You can sort of see here. 
and Michaela has brown eyes. I can probably, oh dear, no, 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 I can hop into class super quick, so you can guys can get a closer look at The Sims, but, um, I mean, uh, Michaela, I believe, is independent, so she likes doing things on her own, which makes it a little easier for Aubrey, because, uh, Alec doesn't really help take care of the girls much. It's sort of pretty much just up to Aubrey. Alec, though, does have a pretty good relationship with Nolan, which is nice, because then he, well, Alec is his role model. So, oh, yeah, so, also, I believe all three kids, I believe, okay, you're right, you're Sims. All three kids have freckles, because I love freckles in The Sims. And also, um, Aubrey has freckles. So let's put her in her everyday outfit, so you can see what she looks like. She's got, oh, four eyes. This is one of them. So, nothing that special. Oh dear, no, I didn't mean to get rid of that. Please tell me that's not that. Okay, thank god. That's her other outfit. It's not very, she doesn't really have much style, she just sort of wears whatever. But yeah, this is Aubrey. Um, this is Alec. Oh yeah, so Aubrey has gray eyes, and so does Alec. He sort of has grayish eyes, grayish brown. So I guess that's where Michaela gets the brown eyes. But there's some Nolan. Also, yeah, all three kids do have freckles from their mom. This is Nolan. He's cute. He's got red hair. He's adorable. Mm. He's looking, I guess. They did a good. They did a good job with that one. This is Michaela. Yeah, she's got braids. It's adorable. Um. Oh yeah, so I sort of put the two <laughs> girls, well obviously in different hair styles, also because the, really the only main difference other than the hair and the clothes is their eyes, because Mackenzie has grayish eyes, sort of like her dad, and then Michaela has brown eyes. So I wanted to be able to tell them part a little easier, so that's why I put yeah. the different hair. And the clothes, I put Mackenzie mainly mint colors, so as you can see here. And then Michaela is in yellows. <laughs> Again, you can see here. So they're very cute, I think. And I want to show you guys a team. They're really cute. At least I think so. Okay, I want to show you guys. Obviously, you guys won't see this later. But I really want to show you guys. They're so cute. And of course, uh, Kenzie looks the same. I'll show you Mackenzie super close. But I think they're really and, yeah, see, they look the same. <laughs> they're so cute, though, and they're toddlers. They're so cute. Okay, I love toddlers. If you guys didn't know, The Sims 4 recently added them, and it's amazing. I love that update. That was by far my favorite update, because toddlers were my favorite life stage in The Sims 3. And, oh, what? Oh, no. Her kid's gone. Okay, well, Michaela was independent. Like <laughs> Mackenzie was inclusive. So she is very smart, Mackenzie, and Michaela is very independent and outgoing, I would say. She's very social, whereas Mackenzie's more smart. Not really quiet, but she's not as quiet as, or she's not as loud as her sister. But you sort of saw the apartment. There's really not much to show, so we're going to get a little bit into the game. So you sort of know the backstory. really young age, and I mean, there's, yeah, it's, it's not bad at all, definitely not bad, I mean, they're mostly happy, but, yeah, about being happy, Alec has done something, I'll scroll down here, oh look, who's this, Penny Pizzazz, his neighbor, and Love birds. Oh no. Oh dear. I asked her out on a date. He accidentally did that. Oh no. Yeah, so Alec is cheating on Aubrey <laughs> with their neighbor, Penny Pizzazz. So, oh, actually, she is right there. I did give her a makeover because you might have noticed she looks sort of different from her usual. Oh, hold up. This is. Oh no, my iPad. That's, um. Kayla's. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot which one. But, yeah. But he is sort of cheating on Aubrey. Not 
not good, not good. I think we're going to have them. So they both live in the fashion district here. I kind of don't want to go there. Let's have them go to my Shino Meadows. He'll probably just say, oh, I'm on a, on a business trip. Because he doesn't really tell Aubrey much. I mean, yes, they have a close romantic relationship. That's because they have two kids. They kind of had to do some stuff to get them. But, um, okay, sorry, let's keep this PG. But, um, he doesn't really have a good friendship with Aubrey. They used to in high school, but then, you know, the stress of kids and money it sort of gets to a couple, especially a very young couple, who's not quite used to, I don't know, raising kids at such a young age. But, I mean, well, okay, I would imagine, when I say young, that they had kids at a young age, I would imagine that Aubrey probably had Nolan at around, because they're the same age, right? But Aubrey probably had Nolan around the age of 18, 20, maybe. Okay, well, you know what? Let's say 20. So she probably had him at around 20. And then he's maybe, he's a child, right? And then the girls are toddlers. So toddlers are probably, I'd imagine them being two-ish, three-ish. Say three. And then say Nolan is seven-ish. He's kind of young still. So if he's seven, he's only four. He's four years older than the twins. So, I mean, she probably had Nolan at age 20. Then four years later, when she's 24, she had Mackenzie and Michaela. Yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out the ages right now. I never really know what to say during these loading screens. And they're kind of long because I have a lot of CCs. It just takes my game a little longer. And my computer's not the fastest thing. But, I mean, it gets the job done. And it's pretty fun. I love this game. This is my one of my favorite video games. And, well, actually, I, I used to... I used to play The Sims 3 with my friends. Okay, well, we're here. But then, you know, The Sims 4 came out. <laughs> so oh, so cool. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at Miss Penny Pizzazz here. So I did change her up a little bit. Yeah, this is her. That's it. <laughs> so, let's see. Go give her a suave kiss. I want to see if any sisters stay in each other. Let's see if they can get... Okay, well... I feel like, you know, let's, he, he kind of moves fast, you know, because he's got three kids, he doesn't, he sort of, I can't imagine him and Aubrey having the time to, you know, do what he's about to do with the kids as, oh, she just, ah, oh dear, Kisana, what, warm back, oh, go flirt with her, <laughs> Ringo. Huh. Well, she accepts. Beam. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> okay, she got. No, no, no! <laughs> don't leave! Don't you dare leave! Okay, Penny. Oh no, no, no! If you gave her apartment key and she just decided to pop by when Aubrey was there, that cannot be. Let's compliment her appearance. Ah, Jenny. No, but you look like the same time. Well, you need to become flirty then, sir. She's confident. He bought a wig. Oh. Oh, Vadish. So bitty flange. A plum to bloom up. Pick up line. Books of Thor? Yes. Oh, who are you? I didn't know that. Who are you? Is that Eliza? Oh, that was Eliza Pancakes. This is not Eliza Pancakes. Never mind. Okay. So. Warva. Oh, let's embrace her. Come on. Build this relationship here. Yes. They're both. Flirty. Yay, flirt with your date while flirting. Makes you date passionate. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, confess your attraction. Oh, yes. So. Discuss your no. <laughs> Just give her a kiss. Oh, the new chew. Ah. You can't kiss your ah. passion. Mm. 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 really want to probably talk. So we're gonna have them pop over into this observatory. Go woohoo a little bit with Penny Pizzazz. Because, I don't know, probably. Oh wait, we're gonna have her socialize with. Let's have them build the relationship. Probably 
I wanted to build. I wanted to see if I could build one of the relationships. Okay, so they're gonna hop into Who's there. It oh, and it will go a bit because I mean, he, she, she's like his mistress pretty much. He's cheating on his wife. Okay, let's back up. <laughs> That's quite loud. He's pretty much cheating on his wife with pet pizzazz because, oh wow, oh fireworks. Really? Really? While well, that's going on. And they're in time. I mean, it's really cool. But, really? Come on. Oh my. That is. Okay, guys. Just, just, that's not working. Oh dear. Stick away. Oh, this guy. Looks like he's out. Okay. Now, I'm sure you all are saying right now, you press try for baby. Yes, that is because I want her, Aubrey, to find out what a dirtbag he is. So, guys, Penny Pizzazz, we don't really care. I mean, okay, we we care about her, but I mean, we want, we want stuff to go on. Oh, oh she has to be a girlfriend. So, it's not, it's not like it's Aubrey. So we're gonna do a little cheaty go to the command center. And uh, we're gonna get the pregnancy. <laughs> She's pregnant with the boy. Okay. We're gonna have another <laughs> son. Guys, yeah, that's great. That's the <laughs> That was a dork. Oh, is that, is that actually oh, so worth it? That's so pretty. Uh huh. Hi, Mom. Huh. Huh. Oh. Okay, that's cool. I know the pump are there, but I don't want to turn on the light effects right now. Okay. Oh, Carzini. Alright, I think it's, ooh, it's 11 p.m. right now. You should probably go home. Yeah. Soon. Go home, I say. Yay, it was a date, not, if not the most successful date ever. Check it. Ooh, a book. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to go home. Pava, your niece. <laughs> Una Burr. And we're gonna do that by switching controls to Aubrey, and then we're just gonna bring out with her. So, hmm, you know. Yeah, Alec isn't the best guy, but I mean, things are gonna happen. And Aubrey's going to be a single mother. Or she might be. But I mean, right now, doesn't really help with the kids anyway, so it's not like it'd make much of a difference if he left. But he's also non-committal, so I mean, if he did leave her for Penny Pizzazz, how long would that really last? Especially ne once he finds out that Penny's gonna have a baby. His baby. That should be interesting to see how it goes. So I hope you guys liked this first episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what you think should happen, if if you think it's good, what you, your thoughts on the series, if you would watch it, what you would want to add, what do you think would make it more interesting, and what do you think Aubrey should do? Because obviously right now she does not know about Penny Pizzazz, all she knows is that she's her neighbor. But I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like. I already said that. Dear, I'm sorry. I'm sort of new to this. But, um, that's it, guys. I'm really excited to start this series and to share it with you guys. I hope you guys like it too. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.